fold it, fold this dive so the broken's actually pretty cool. Broken? It's not pretty cool. As in like, you know, if somebody was going I mean, escapism is bad in itself, but you know, I'd rather people do escape to bar open rather than see in front of a TV. Because if they escape yeah. to bar open they meet people like us, we can change them. But well, if there's they see a lot more opportunity, watch, isn't there? Yeah, there's a lot of opportunity. But if they see them watch TV, they've got no chance. They're fucked. Exactly. Well, it is pretty much... You work physically, right? You exhaust yourself physically and your mental capacity when you get home is just at the point where it's like, I need to relax. So you sit back and you get this chew mm -hmm. after you get in your favourite couch and fucking chew it into your head and let reality commence. Yeah. Let the facade commence. Yeah, more like another reality. Yeah. Fucking producers of the facade. Kind of. See, <coughs> what I love about my home, this is something to talk about. There's beautiful people here from all walks of life, different ages. Someone who's been in the Iraq, from, from Iraq, and has been in refugee camps for over 10 years. And beautiful man, great philosophy to him. And uh, a very sentient being, in true and soul. And we go dumpster diving every night, and just go down the road and we um, go down to the coals, bins, and yeah, take out all this food and niz, this guy I'm talking about, will whip it up into the best fucking meal you've tasted all day. So the food's brilliant, brilliant. the people are brilliant. Atmosphere is great because it's a, um, well, an anarchist as you can see there, it's an anarchist slash activist household. But also an artist. Absolutely. Yeah, just many different backgrounds in essence. So it's brilliant. And the interesting thing about this, living here, originally it was a squat. And the guy that lived here found out that these people were staying here and pretty much said, look, you can stay. As long as you pay 100 a week, and in two months you have to go, or three months, because it'll be knocked down a month after. So it's getting knocked. Hence enabling the freedom to all this, which is, yeah, that's the cool shit, which is pretty fucking cool, like, and the point I was going to get to is when you have a household in which is your actual home and you can do as you will in it and what you want to it and help it become something that's part of the community or the, the yeah, of who you are and who the life is within the house, whose home the life resides in as well and from not just something you go to for shelter. You are able to like, oh, I'll just get to the point. Like I come home different days and every day I come here, there's always something different on the wall, like a different, different picture, different quote, go on the toilet, any other room. There's art everywhere, beautiful quotes everywhere, nice little quirky messages. And I've gotten to know so many of the people that live in this house simply through their freedom to manifest and express and be creative and put all these things up so I was just, the point I'm making is wouldn't it just be divine if we could all live like this yeah. if we could all turn our houses into progressive pieces of art intricately woven with its res residers or inhabitants as one would call it legalize graffiti uh, legalize graffiti so, I just thought that would be really cool. Imagine going into a house, every single house is unique, because everyone's got the freedom to do as they will to it. I mean, there'll still be all the, the bland, black and white, boring old codgers out there. And then for everyone else, it'll be like you're walking into a fucking art museum. I'm not even so wanky, it's just walking into a place where you can truly see the soul of all that's within it, and you can add to it and put your own thing on the wall, and there's your mark. So, there's just something to think about. It would be a nice hypothetical reality, but I don't see it being implemented into um, reality anytime soon. You know, with laws and stuff. Unless you can afford to buy a house. And everyone can do that, you know. I mean, freedom isn't free. But it's pretty cheap, right? Pretty cheap. It wouldn't cost too much to buy a house these days. Huh. It wouldn't cost much at all. It should cost this much. That much? It should cost that much. It shouldn't even cost that. It shouldn't cost paper. Uh, I don't know. It shits me. This lack of freedom really shits me.
But you know, as they say. Yeah.